So do you have a goal and no system? You need a system to complete the goal. So the goal plus the system equals results. SET stands for Soil Extraction Transfer Technology. Let's check it out in today's episode. We've got a couple of area rugs to do. This is the SIBO Duo. It's a German-made counter-rotating brush. They use it a lot for dry uh, compound cleaning. You can see it's kind of low profile. But what we're doing is we are agitating the all of the... This is a shag. It's a polypropylene rug. And this side here where we're hitting is really dark and worn. It's hard to tell in the video, but anyway, he's my son is using the SIBO Duo to agitate and to pop all the hair and any soil and debris to the surface before we vacuum. And then we'll vacuum... And we're going to do probably two, two vacuuming series. So he'll go across and then he'll go uh, diagonal and then vertical and horizontal. We want to get as much dry particulate soil out of the carpet as we can before we attempt to clean it. So and the dry soil, the uh, IICRC says, I believe it's 70 percent of the dirt that you have in your carpet is dry particulate soil. So with the low moisture VLM process, the set process, soil extraction transfer technology, we are not using steam cleaning, so we're not extract, extracting with vacuum suction. So it's very important that the vacuum stage is our suction stage. So we want to get all that debris out. That's why we pre-agitated with what they, kind of what they call a CRB, counter-rotating brush. It's a lot light, lighter weight product than the bigger CRBs, the SIBO Duo, but does a great job. So let's get into now the pre-spray. There's no specialty spotting here because like you can see, there's no Kool-Aid spills or dog urine, anything like that. So we're going to spray it down. I set the gun to a 25 degree spray pattern so I can get real tight along the edge there. This is the Works Hydroshot Sprayer, and we have Green Dragon mixed up at one ounce per gallon in the five gallon bucket, as well as this is boosted with Go Oxy, which is a peroxide brightener and stain remover. And it does a fantastic job on this polypropylene. You'll see just as soon as we vacuumed, it began to look 50% better than it did before. And that's uh, all thanks to the Hoover Hush Tone commercial vacuum. That thing just sucks all that soil up and out of the carpet. So here I'm spraying a little heavier on this corner where it sits in front of the couch. I guess or the, maybe the couch or the furniture sits along the part closest to us on the bottom of the screen and that gets a lot of foot traffic up there but like i said i'm already impressed just by the vacuuming step so the next step is we're going to use an orbital op machine this is the auric orbiter and i want it to use the op machine because instead of just a circular motion it is orbiting and I put the black brush, which is gentle, but it's effective at orbiting the solution, the Green Dragon and the Gooxy, into all of the lower regions of the fibers. So we want to be real careful here. And then when we're done pre-agitating the solution into the carpet to emulsify the soil for extraction, we'll move on to the bigger machine and pads. And before I do that, you probably won't see it. It'll be off screen. I'm gonna take a cloth and lift the edges of the carpet and I'm gonna dry up any overspray so that we are sure we're not picking up anything that might be on the concrete and putting it onto the carpet fiber. Look at that. It is pretty difficult to move 
you know, not only the SIBO Duo counter rotating brush or the Auric Orbiter, the OP Orbital brush through these fibers because it is a very thick fiber. You can see he's doing a great job. It does take a little muscle and finesse. But we'll get all that worked in. In the meantime, while he's doing this step, that solution, the Go Oxy, which is a probably a 15% peroxide, stabilized peroxide, so it's safe. It's sitting there oxidizing out any of that really bad soil. Now that he's got it worked in, I'm gonna give it one more shot, mainly over here in this really dirty area. Give it a little boost and then we'll get a couple pads. I am probably gonna do at least two pads, maybe three. You can see I am moving and rotating with an O with a not an OP, not an orbital machine, but this is the swirly. And it is a rotary machine. And what a rotary machine will do, it's very apparent on a shag rug is it spins in one direction so it will pull the fibers down if you were to think of that thing spinning it spins the fibers down and it only is catching really that one side there so it's important you know on a higher pile carpet shag saxony uh, sometimes frise you want to go in different motions and we've tested this concept when i say we if you watch oxy dry robin he has done a lot of videos he's the main reason that i use the uh, the rotary machine and it is very effective but you do have to know how to get the best results using that machine if i just was to do this and go across and be done i think i would be leaving soil in between on one side like here it's flattening it out coming back down getting the other side you'll see me move in various motions where i pull it forward and backwards when you get used to one of these machines and you do want to get used to them they do refer to these as wall bangers <laughs> for a good reason and the reason is is if you're not uh, familiar with it and you turn it on and you're putting too much weight on, down on it or up on it it'll go against the direction you're going to the right or left really fast and they could fly right through someone's wall so you want to practice with these but it's so nimble and easy to use a rotary rotary machine you'll see a lot of guys now using these i do like my op my orbital machines i have a mighty eco 14 i have the orbot vibe i do use those off camera quite regularly i will start putting up some video with those as well. And the Orbot Vive would have done fantastic on this carpet. But we're going to, this one's 68 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight. But the head weight on it, you know, just perfect for these, these rugs. They're not gonna push them or, or push it against the concrete and slide it around. So here, just taking my time, extracting into the Iron Man cotton pad. And when you're the operator and you're standing over the machine looking down, you can kind of see the areas that need more attention and where you need to go. And you can also follow the direction that the fiber is being spun or pressed that direction. So you know if you need to come back the other direction. We'll have a look at that compared to a, a, a bonnet that has not been used. Uh, that was soaked all the way through, so we're going to use a new pad. And then we'll take a look at that as well. You, you want to make sure you're, especially with this, I sprayed it heavy, as you saw. And the reason I had to spray it heavy is because it's so thick. If I just sprayed lightly, it would only get the tips and halfway part of the fiber and then you'd have an uneven look so there are times when you know in order to get it clean you can't promise you know one hour or 30 minute dry time 
you don't want to sacrifice the cleanliness for the dry time. So I've, I've let the client know that uh, this is going to, you know, we're going to use a multiple pad, so it'll pro probably still be dry in a couple hours, no problem. But we do want to work it in, and the Green Dragon is an encapsulating solution, so it dries down to a crystal, uh, crystal powder, which you won't see. It's kind of at a nano level. And the next time they vacuum, anything that was left in the carpet will be adhered to by that crystal, and it'll be pulled up into your vacuum cleaner. But 97%, 98% of all the suspended soil is being transferred into the pad. That's where we get the soil extraction transfer technology. So much better than soaking down the carpet. And, you know, I have nothing against truck-mounted steam cleaning. Uh, I did that for many years. I did portable steam cleaning after that, I think, when I got into my YouTube uh, time. And so I have no problem with it. There's definitely a, a place for all of those uh, components and skills. But as far as this goes, it would just be pressure washing it. Unless you take it to a rug spa. A lot of people can't afford to send their rugs in to the rug spa. And from what I understand, they want $50 delivery and $50 to return or pick up and delivery. $50 for pick up and $50 for delivery. So there's $100 just in the getting it to and from the shop because of the cost of gas in our area. But look at that. Okay. You could see moving the fiber flat that way, pulling it back this way, flattening or cleaning that side, pulling it back, trying to overlap at least 50% when you're doing this. And the pad is, you can see it's got a rough texture to it, so it digs deep. Now we're going to hit it one more time. Like I said, don't uh, let your pads, don't go too sparingly. This is a polar pad and it is a microfiber. So we hit it with two cotton pads to absorb and the microfiber is very absorbent. If you look at microfiber cotton, the Iron Man absorbs through the surface or the face of the pad. So it's pulling it all the way in. The microfiber, if you look at a microfiber pad, they look like little um, fibers themselves, like little veins, a bunch of little veins in a row, you know, patterned out. And each one of those fibers, instead of absorbing it just on the face of the pad, it's absorbing through the vein. So it's sucking it through each little, each little fiber and pulling it into the special insert in the pad excuse me, in the pad, these polar pads, I believe they have a foam insert that is some kind of specialty foam. But uh, you could check the link in the description of all my videos, this video for sure, where I get my products, where I get my pads, where I get my equipment. If you're interested and you're in the business and you would like to kind of copycat what I'm doing, you can just uh, click on that link and I told you we're using Green Dragon for the cleaner. It's a wool safe product. This is not wool, but the other one that I'm doing today is, um, they call it Opulin, I believe. It's a polypropylene and a about a 30% acrylic. You'll see that rug in a minute, but the Green Dragon's safe for everything and leaves zero residue. Like I said, it will crystallize. If there was anything left, it'll dry down and you'll just vacuum it out. It's not something that's necessary. You don't have to tell your client you need to vacuum when I'm done. Because like I said, you're pulling about 97, 98% of everything out. And you'll see how nice this comes out. And then again, the machine is a swirly. And I used Go Oxy. Oh. So you could check all that out. That's basically what we're using, the pads. This is called a polar pad. Okay. It's microfiber. Mm -hmm. The Malish pad driver there comes with your swirly machine. Everything's online. And then the uh, Green Dragon Go Oxy Cleaner, the swirly for the machine, Iron Man cotton pads, polar pads, 
the Works Hydroshot Sprayer was purchased on eBay. And the reason I got it on eBay is because the manufacturer sells those sprayers for $79 or $89 now on eBay. And they call them, they refer to them as remanufactured units. But I'll tell you what, this is what, my fourth year using this, I think. I've had zero problems. I went ahead and bought another one just in case for backup, and I keep that one in my storage. But uh, they work phenomenal, and they definitely don't look remanufactured to me. I think it's just another avenue of marketing or sales that uh, Works may use. Works has a lot of products. It's W-O-R-X. They have uh, cordless vacuums. They have, you name it, tools. I have a cordless drill that I use for spotting so that I can just use the same battery pack. I know there's a lot of guys that like Ryobi or Milwaukee, you know, but works, it just works. <laughs> oh, I had to slip that in there. Anyway, you can see I'm just kind of just working it. I want this to be as clean and beautiful as it can be for my client. This is a new client, and I will say, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for many, many years, and I pulled in this driveway here. It's kind of a rock round driveway, and then I pulled up the round side and was backing up to the driveway so that we'd be off the gravel to uh, bring the equipment in a little easier. And I heard a smash, and my front right wheel crushed one of his little solar lights that they put along the driveway. Let's take a look at this. I did offer to pay for it or take it off the job. I felt awful. I'd right away, you know, anytime you do something, you want to admit it. And I let him know right away. Very, very nice fella. And, you know, he was probably too nice. He said he was considering taking those up anyway. So anyway... If he uses me again, which I'm sure he will, I will give him a discount. He's got wood floor and some leather furniture in there, which we may be able to clean up for him one day. Here we are using the Rug Renovator. This tool um, is available on Amazon. You just type in Rug Renovator. We're using the light blue side. It's a rolling brush with two different sides. The dark blue side that you see facing you, that brush is more aggressive. You'll see me probably use that for agitation on the next rug. But we're using the light blue side, which is a little more gentle or delicate. And he's just grooming to work the fibers, you know, in one direction and check our work. Look how beautiful marshmallow dream. Oh, yeah. We're not done with it either. You know me, I'm Polly C. I just don't stop till I can do everything that's been done. So what I'll probably end up doing, you'll see towards the end of the video or maybe next, I will hit it with a spray bottle with some Go-Oxy. And the Go-Oxy, again, is a peroxide brightener. I'll just mist it with a topical mist so that it will continue to oxidize and brighten anything that is on the carpet or that may try to wick up to the top of the surface of the carpet. Look at that. All right, so this is the one that I say is, I think it's 70% polypropylene and 30% uh, thir acrylic. I think they call it opulin, something like that is what the fiber is, but there's a tag underneath that indicated this. My client did send me a picture of the rugs and the tags when he had called to inquire or get a quote. So I asked him, can, can you text me a few pictures and text me the tag and then I'll give you a proper quote so we know what we're looking at. And here you see I'm using the rug renovator. I am using the more aggressive side. The blue bristles are a little bit more firm and instead of using the auric with the brush on this small rug it's just easier for me to work the fibers work the product into the fiber and i will tell you this green dragon just amazing 
And it does have, it's the same solution, Green Dragon, with the Go Oxy. So I think in the bucket, we probably had about two and a half or three gallons at the most. So we had one ounce per gallon of uh, Green Dragon, the powder mixed in there. And I put, uh, you could put five ounces per gallon, but on this, they weren't that bad. So I put three ounces per gallon. So a total of nine ounces of the Go Oxy. And then mixed it up real good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Christmas miracle. And then we're going to clean this one. We'll use another one of the polar pads. Oh my, I have these polar pads in gray, which I really, really like. And that is because they don't show the dirt as much. But for video purposes, the white ones, you know, people that watch the videos want to see the dirt. So we're going to use this white one. And this swirly machine, it has a two and a half gallon tank. And you could see the line that goes down from the tank and the little red valve to turn it on and off. That is if you want to put your cleaning solution in the tank. And then we call it shower feeding where it gravity feeds. You pull a little plunger on the top by your handle and the solution flows down that tube through the back of the pad driver and onto the pad so you don't have to use a sprayer. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm having a few problems with my, I think it's my plunger or could be the hose. I haven't spent the time. We've been so busy. I haven't had time to mess with it, but it uh, was leaking for some reason. It continued to, even when I turned the valve, so it could be the valve, but I'll get to it. So I just, I haven't been using it as much. I've been using the pre-spray because I don't want it when you, you can imagine if you were doing this and then you didn't want the solution to feed and it was still dripping onto the pad, you'll get wet marks, you'll get water on people's wood floors or the concrete here. And pre-spraying is fine though. You can control how much solution you put down and you can control how deep it goes into the carpet by the distance you push your wand closer to the carpet like you saw me do at the beginning and the angle i changed normally work at about the 40 percent angle and you can spin the head on that sprayer and do a 25 percent angle there's different angles all the way down to shower feed just where it comes out like a shower head but anyway i just thought i would explain that some people ask me how come you're not shower feeding anymore is there a reason i do all kinds of different methods but uh, this particular one here, I need to find out if I need to replace the plunger or what's going on. You can see there, this carpet was not that dirty. It did have a few spots. I think it sits under a small kitchen, uh, smaller kitchen bar area, I think it is, or a smaller table that they may uh, just two people sit at and maybe drink drinks and eat snacks or whatever. But it is, I like the look of this. This thing's beautiful. It looks like a, like a planet in the solar system. <laughs> and the acrylic just gives it that, you know, I mean, that pop. It just looks really shiny. Beautiful. This one I will not be doing a topical on, but I am going to use the grooming brush this is an agitation brush or grooming brush as you've seen me use it again it's called a rug renovator it does have wheels so if you're um, you know not really strong and you don't want to you're doing a big house and you don't want to take a regular grooming rake or brush and kill yourself just pushing it back and forth through the fibers this thing has two wheels on it and then, so it's real easy to use. I love this tool. Check it out. Oh my goodness, we are killing the game. Come on, gang, look at this. And if you're watching this and you need your rugs cleaned and you're in the Kitsap County area in the Pacific Northwest, you know who to call. That's right. We'll come out and we will work just as hard as we did here for you so here's the post treatment only on the white carpet just so that we can prevent 
and there, there won't be any wick bag, but I don't know what someone's done to this before. Maybe they spot cleaned it or who knows. So we're just gonna give it a little mist of the Goxy. I think I put one ounce in the bottle and maybe two ounces of water just to get it pretty heavy. We'll lay it on there, let that sit. Absolutely beautiful. I just want to take this time to say thank you to my loyal subscribers. I love you all. And thank you to my viewers who watch my videos and taking time out of your day. That's awesome. Be sure and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next episode. Policy out.